Right, we're going to have a go at making a torch in this little video and the point of this one really is to learn how to work with components and to join them together. So it's a fairly basic uh, torch, it's just two pieces uh, and then we will join them together. So we will save to begin. If you don't have a, a blank page just press the plus and you'll get a, a new blank document. We'll save and we will call the whole project Torch. We'll give that a second to upload and there it is Torch. We're then going to right click on the project title and make a new component and we will call this one the Lens. Okay, we're going to start with a sketch then. On this vertical face, normally we would build on, on the base, but actually for the torch, it makes a little more sense to build on this face here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you could build on that one. Uh, the torch will just be built vertically. Uh, I'm going to build here. You can change it around later, but I find it easier to build. Uh, on the most logical plane uh, from the off, I suppose. We're going to press C for the circle tool or create circle and click there or you can click up in the top. doesn't matter too much. We're going to start our circle bang in the middle and we're going to drag out and we're going to make it 30 millimeters in diameter and press enter. If for whatever reason you just drew a random size circle and you didn't have a dimension on it, if it's got a blue edge it, it can be dragged around. Blue edge means it is unconstrained. To put that dimension in we're going to press D, click that circle, drag out and type 30 and enter. And then I'm going to right click, press pull, click that circle. If you're still looking at it flat on, if it didn't kind of auto rotate round. Hold the shift key and then the middle mouse wheel to rotate. Alternatively you can just grab the view cube and rotate or this orbit button at the bottom. Personally I find the um, middle mouse wheel shift combo a, a little bit quicker. We're going to extrude that by 20 millimeters and press OK. We're now going to add a little chamfer under the Modify tab, chamfer on the back edge. I'm going to rotate around here, zoom in and just make sure I am selecting this edge and that's going to be 5 millimeters. We'll then roll around and look at the front of the torch. Again shift middle mouse wheel and if you just press the middle mouse wheel down without holding shift you can drag it, uh, sort of panning I suppose, we're keeping it flat. I'm going to start a sketch on the very front, draw a circle, so C, click in the middle, drag out, and this circle is going to be 25 millimeters. I'm going to right click, press pull, click that circle and take it in just 2 mil, minus 2. That, that's it, that's the lens portion of the torch complete. We're now going to make a new component called Torch Body. If we right click on the title of the whole project, New Component, we're going to call this Torch Body and we're going to make a new sketch. You can see it's ghosted out the lens cap. It is still there, we can still use it and draw on it most importantly. Um, but it isn't the active components. The one with the dot on is active and at the moment that's the torch body even though there's nothing sketched just yet. I'll click to create sketch. We're going to start a sketch on the uh, back face there and on that sketch we are going to draw a circle right in the middle, drag it out. It's going to be 20 millimeters uh, right click, press pull, and we're going to drag that out 75 millimeters. 
on the rear portion of the torch here we're going to add a few little details a little fillet so we're just going to pick up that edge just a small two millimeter fillet and we're going to put a little button on the back as well so I'm going to start a sketch on the very back of the torch draw a circle that is 10 millimeters in diameter another circle so I'm pressing C for the circle tool click drag out 18 millimeters enter I'm then going to right click press pull mm, yeah, 18 mil was a little bit big no I made a mistake there um, but doesn't matter fusion is actually already referenced to the edge of this radius if you can see that but as the radius comes down it, it's the joint between the flat and the curved surface it, I can select that so that's my 18 mil circle which is too large really uh, I'm just going to select that portion there and drag that in two millimeters and there we go that's a little button in the back and obviously we can kind of chamfer that and round it if we want to but uh, we don't really need to for the purpose of this little exercise. Right, a pretty good point to save. Okay, what I'm going to do now is activate the entire model. So this is this is the model with a little activate component button next to it, and at that point they they both kind of become visible if you like because they're both active they both of these parts are found within this big project when it's active they're both visible if I activate the lens cap the other disappears and any mo modifications I make to this shouldn't influence the uh, the torch body and, and vice versa but I want them both on now I don't suggest you do this but just to kind of show you neither of these are fixed in, in 3D space. I can click and drag either and they'll just move away from one another. I'm going to undo that, bring it back. The first thing we need to do is ground one of these. Now it doesn't matter which necessarily. I'm going to ground the lens cap. It's the first thing I built. If you right click the component over here in the kind of model tree and ground you'll see a little pin symbol appear and I can no longer move that around as I click and drag nothing happens the, the body still moves but that does not we're now going to press J or joint and make a joint a connection between those two components if you hover over the flat surface of the body it's the very mid portion we're looking for and then I'm going to roll round and hover over the lens cap. Infusion quite helpfully makes the components invisible after you've selected them. We shall select that. And that little kind of vib vibrating animation just shows that it's uh, a rigid joint. I'm going to press OK. Now that symbol there just tells me there's a joint between the two. If I wanted to make that invisible I can turn off the joints up here the joint is still there I, I can no longer move either of these the lens is fixed the uh, body is, is jointed to it the last thing we're going to do is play around with the physical materials or the uh, color I suppose of this if you go into modify and then appearance these are all kind of paint if you like even though this component will still be physically steel that's the standard material that fusion builds in we can apply different materials over the top but they are like painting a product if you were to paint a, a wooden box it is still a wooden box even if it's painted to look like aluminium or you know a, a polymer so there's a whole range of different materials that we could uh, we could sort of paint it in carbon fibers, uh, different metals, liquid even. 
I'm just going to choose a, a an actual paint, uh, just a coloured paint. Again, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, let's have a green torch. You'll note the entire body changed colour. If you want to just paint a certain portion, let's say I wanted uh, this back section to be kind of a glossy grey, you have to change up here to bases and drag out and you can paint just like a, a single surface. Uh, that button I'm going to have as red just so it's nice and easy to see. There we go. Not the uh, not the best looking torch in the world but it will do for this demonstration. The main reason I wanted to show you the appearance and again to get into this tab it is modify appearance or you can press A is Fusion has some quite clever um, appearances, paints that we can use in the other folder. Emissive, there are a range of different um, uh, so there are a range of different uh, displays. This isn't quite what we want. If we go back from other into miscellaneous and then into emissive, these different LEDs are, are what we're what we're shooting for. So again, if you're in other emissive, you'll see LED displays or LCD displays. We're just going to go back from that and, and back once more and into miscellaneous and then emissive. And we'll drag out one of these bulbs, doesn't really matter. And what that has done is that's told Fusion that this front panel is going to glow, it's going to be illuminated. We are in the design environment here. If we move from the design to the render environment, the effect of, of that will become more pronounced. You can see that it's now um, kind of glowing. And if we uh, do an in Canva render, so that should become hopefully even more apparent as the emissive surface, that whole front plate, uh, emits light. And we'll just give that a while and complete a number of iterations. But the longer you, you leave that, uh, the higher the quality. But that's a very, very brief little snapshot about how to use uh, components. As you can see, we, we have those two separate components. Uh, how you would ground one of them and then join the rest of the, the pieces to it and a little bit on applying appearances uh, to kind of make a more realistic looking product with enough time uh, you can uh, you can create some very very high quality results uh, in this render tab but yeah that's the little torch project all wrapped up